we want to look at how to use the power rule in order to solve these equations and simplify them. When you simplify, all of your exponents should be positive in your final answers. So if I want to simplify this, remember this is saying I'm going to cube everything that I see. So I'm going to take negative 2 and I'm going to cube that. I'm going to take u to the fifth cubed and then I'm going to have a squared cubed. Now, now that I have something that's raised to a power, what do I do? Do I add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Well, I'm going to multiply, right, if I have two exponents. What am I going to do over here? Well, I'm going to take negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So I'm going to get negative 8, and I'm going to get u to the 5 times 3 is 15, and I'm going to get a to the 2 times 3, which is 6. So all of our exponents are positive, so we're finished with this example. Now, what if I give you something that looks a little more tricky and it gives you a negative exponent to begin with? Well, you know right off the bat that either you're going to end up with a negative in your answer, or you can go ahead and change it to a positive. So what I'm going to do on this one first is I'm going to change everything inside the parentheses so that it has a positive exponent. Now remember, in order to make this positive, we have to take and put it over 1. So if I have a to the minus 2 and I want it to become positive, I get 1 over a squared. So when I look at this, that means now the a squared is going to be down here on the bottom. And then I want to square this whole thing. So I'm going to try to do it without the steps first. So 2 squared is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. So I get a to the 4th. b, 3 times 2 is 6 b to the sixth. And this will be your final answer because everything has positive exponents.